What's happening over there? Well, you guys, uh, you wrapped too early and I wasn't in place yet, so I got to run to place. Oh, it's our <laughs> I gotta fault. I show you this because this is so cool, you guys. It's always your fault. You should know this by now. <laughs> it is always your fault. Uh, look how cool this is, you guys. We are here at Artisan. They do all of these really cool wraps. I mean, if you dream it, they can build it. So this is on the outside of their building. Look how vibrant and uh, cool this is. They do all sorts of printing and this kind of stuff. They're celebrating their 25 an uh, 25th anniversary here in Scottsdale. These are the two gentlemen that started this. Introduce yourselves. Hi, Doug Bond and President Artist in Color. John Passante. All right, so Doug, let me start with you. For people that don't know, what do you guys do here at Artisan? Well, we're a, a modern commercial digital printer, and we've been in business for 25 years. We're celebrating our 25th anniversary this Sunday, and uh, we've been in North Scottsdale the entire time. All right, let's go inside, because I want to show this off, because you really can, if someone can dream it, you guys can really kind of make it come to fruition, right? So we're talking about these big signs, the big banners, the big wraps, and you guys have a pretty impressive clientele list, right? Well, thank you, we do. We do national brands as well as local, and we can make everything from a business card to a piece of fine art in the Museum of Modern Art. Now, like, this is kind of one example, like the GCU, the guy right here. This yeah. is something that you did. You do these cutouts like this, right? We do. Grand Canyon University is a big uh, customer of ours. And this cutout is printed on our flatbed printer. And then this is something so, that you guys do, do as well, right? Yeah, something like yeah, fine art. An example of fine art on acrylic here. These are all backlits coming up that... Uh, those are fancy. Showing. Yeah. That's those, a, you you got to have some money if you're going to do some of the backlit one, right? Well, you see those in the malls often, right? Oh, in yeah, the airports, right. it's yeah, the yeah. same product. And then you guys do all of this. We do do. Now, what, how do you print these? I mean, I guess we're going to get into that in just a little bit, but I mean, how many different printers do you guys have to kind of do all of these different aspects of what you guys do here? Yeah, we have 11 significant size commercial printers here. From 11? Yeah. Now, has that expanded over the years? I'm sure technology has really come into play with that as well, right? Yeah, it does. We're always trying to up our game, keep modern, keep the latest and greatest in the company. I love this. So now we're walking in. This is so cool. It's kind of like central command in here. It's quiet. Yep, the lights are off. What is it going on in here? Well, this is our color correction and editing studio. This is where the very immersive Photoshop work happens. So this is kind of where it all starts. So the customer comes to you with the idea, and then this is where kind of your, your artists, so to speak, kind of get to work, right? That's exactly correct. So Can we look over some of their shoulders to see what they're doing? Is that okay? Absolutely. We're just bugging them, everybody here this morning. Good morning, sir. What are you working on here? Oh, some cool stuff for the Phoenix Children's Hospital. Yep, this is Danny here. He's working on a job for Phoenix Children's. A little layout there. That is really cool. This is awesome. In, in 25 years, I mean, now, what do you kind of credit your success to? Well, obviously you have to have products that cust <laughs> customers Want? are attracted to, yeah. right? But uh, the longevity has to be related to, I think, trust and respect, um, you know, doing a good job for people. And we had a workshop recently that um, we identified trust as one of the big reasons our customers come back to us over and over again. All right, so you guys, this is kind of where it all starts. So coming up, we're going to show you where it all ends, the impressive printers that they have. As Doug mentioned, 11 different printers that they have to do all sorts of intricate work. So we're going to show all that off coming up in just a few minutes, you guys. It's so cool, you guys. All right, but this is giving me PTSD. Look at this. They do stuff for Superstar Car Wash. Remember Tuesday when you guys stuck me in a car wash? <laughs> uh, yeah. Did you see so that, Doug? They put me Best in a car wash the in the back of a truck. Ty, that sounds epic, but I did miss that episode. Well, you didn't miss much because it was not very fun for me, but it was fun for folks at home to watch. But look at this. I mean, this is just wild, the amount of things that you guys can do. So what, what is this room in here? This room is pr primarily lamination, so this is where materials are at one or adhere to another. For instance, a fine art print can be mounted to a piece of acrylic. Can we go you look at these back here? Because these Absolutely. are beautiful. Are the what, what type of paper is this that you printed on to get these beautiful glossy prints like this? This is a photographic output on a fine art paper. Now, do you work with a lot of artists that come in to do their prints like this? We do. We have lots of artists that work with Artisan. Uh, we, we run an online um, shop called Artisan HD, and we have lots of ambassadors wow. on there that our you know, customers can take a look at and see our authenticity in this space. And is that St. Andrews up there? It is, right? That is beautiful. Look at that. And the colors are so vivid. Thank you. Yeah, they're beautiful. That is really cool. All right, let's walk in here because this is kind of where the magic happens. This is where all the printers are, right? Yep, this is where our two big flatbed printers are and then the digital routers that service and cut all the product coming off the printer. So now once it's done in the other room, then you kind of send it over here to the computer and then the computer then does its thing? 
Yeah, so once it comes off this flatbed over your shoulder, then it services over here to the routers and you can see the fiducial on, on it, meaning the target that it's cut on, the little black dots. Oh, okay. And that gives a cut file to these routers. So now it's gonna cut know, it out. Right, exactly, that's what's happening now. They're gonna start, it's cutting out drill holes and now it's gonna outline the entire picture. Wow, and this is all part of the process. You have, you can do any of this. That's correct, Look we can this. do any of this. So this is, it goes from the printers over there to this right here, you guys. This is gonna be the finished product and then they'll put these, I don't know where these will go, somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're, aisle, they're aisle advertisements that can oh, be mounted. Oh, aisle advertisements, okay. So look, this is what it looks like when it's done. See that? Right over here. Look at that. The finished product when it's all done. Yep. This is wild. Yep. Little now, little and now you, we showed off that giant, oh wait, we got more ahead. Okay, I gotta wrap. I'm getting into this, you guys. This is so cool. I'm like a kid in a candy store looking at all this machinery. It smells in here, it's loud. We got lots of stuff going on. All right, well coming up, we're gonna show you uh, some more of what they do here at Artisan Color. But cool stuff though, isn't it? Yeah. For sure. And, I, and the cutting is so interesting. It's amazing. It's so precise. Yeah. We have been printing stuff. Now we're in the shipping department because obviously that is important. You got to get all the stuff that you shipped to the client. Look at all this stuff. This is going to a casino in Maryland. It's a different language over here. I mean, this is cool, Doug. So this is obviously very important to make sure you get this to the client in one piece. The shipping department, important. Absolutely. Packaging is as important as printing sometimes. So if oh, it I doesn't bet. get delivered, you know, nice and neat, it can get damaged on shipment. So, so what are they doing great. here? I mean, lots of bubble wrap happening here. Lots of bubble wrap, right? Inspection. So this is a QC inspection point, content inspection. So we make sure the printing turned out right, second set of eyes, and then making sure all the contents are in the package correctly. I love this. Okay, now look at this. Our friends over at Odyssey Aquarium, they do such great stuff here. But look, you do all of those big, large-scale things for the yeah. aquarium, right? That's right. These are some roll-fed banner output here. They have... Uh, grommets in them and the edges are hemmed so they hang nicely. Oh, that is cool. Now, where are these? What kind of machine is this printed on? The one behind us here? Yeah, this is off the Legtex device. Wow. Now, how long would something like this take to print? It probably takes about 10 minutes to print a big piece like this. That yeah. seems really short for the amount of time and effort that yeah for the length of that you can see how the print head moves back pretty quickly yeah oh, it can, really cool. it, it, it's a high production machine well Doug John thank you guys so much for letting us come in here and disrupt your day and your employees day by showing off what you guys do here at Artisan we're gonna put all their information on our website if you got a project give them a call you guys uh, we'll put that on our website fox 10 phoenix.com to all our employees happy Aww. 25th we love 25th you. anniversary oh, happy love anniversary it.